Uh, straight ahead for me. Oh shit, man. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> you know, you only live, well, you only live once, okay? It'd be nice if you could live twice and shit so you wouldn't make the same mistakes the second time around and shit, you know, given, you know, your religious belief or whatever. But, you know, uh, let's just cut all the bullshit. All right, I want to be like most people today and, you know, do the word salad thing before I get to the point and shit. I, I, I just, you know, I saw an Instagram post from Gabrielle Union, the, you know, about, you know, she was on the red carpet of her new Netflix movie, which I ain't watching because she's in it. <laughs> you know, I seriously, I boycott her because she lied on uh, Nate, uh, Nate Parker uh, about that slave movie he did and shit, you know. She lied about that. And she talked shit. And he took a big chance putting on her marginally talented ass in that movie and shit. That's me being nice, okay. So, on the red carpet, she was wearing a very daring uh, ensemble, okay. She had some kind of weird cat suit thing on with, with like a train, a bridal train or something on it. And in the back, it was a thong. It was see-through, and her her butt was partially exposed. They had two-thirds of her butt. Like, the thing was going in the middle, like the little wrap thing, you know, because she just ain't, she ain't got it like that. You know, back in the day when I was growing up, we had motherfucker like Grace Jones and shit. She'll just walk, she don't give a fuck. She'll walk naked or something around with a strap on, you know, with a horse strap on. She don't give a fuck. You know, it's always been, like, bad bitches of the past that was willing to do crazy shit for clout. It's just the way it goes, okay? I grew up in the era of, like, when Madonna made that song, uh, Like a Virgin, and then everybody started wearing that shit, you know, walking around with lingerie on and shit. That's, a lot of that shit started, you know, with fucking Madonna. You know, where the school I went to in the black neighborhood in Chicago, a lot of bitches was getting kicked out. They was coming to school, and they had some shit that killed Madonna shit. <laughs> so I went to school with niggas that looked like grown people and shit. It looked like a, like a teen movie in the 80s, for real. So, uh, getting back to Gabrielle Union. I'm sorry for going off on a tangent. So, yeah, yeah, she's wearing... She's wearing this shit, man. That you know, she got little heels on, and she's walking, and she somehow she finagled Tyreesy P Henson to wear some similar shit, you know. Except oh, girl, just you know, she knows she didn't have no ass, and she knows since she got up in age, her shoulders are kind of wider than the hips, so she had one of her boobs out. Like, oh, fuck it, I'm not getting monetized. She had one of her titties out with a pasty on on, on it, and I was just tragically unimpressed, but it was so fucking funny that I decided to make a shallow video and put it up posted here on this platform you know i'm not really i'm not throwing hate or nothing you know gabrielle you don't have to do much to she's always looking for attention and shit you know I, one time i thought she was cute when she did the, the uh bring it on movie and i just saw her and she had clothes on and shit and i just you just see her head and i didn't know what was under that shit i was like that bitch uh, she'll get it she'll get rage effed okay and then over the years i knew she was a shit and i that was solidified early on when she did that uh, Deliver Us from Eva movie. And I was like, anybody that likes this is a... <laughs> that, wait, okay, let's, you know, preference. Anybody that likes her in this is a fucking idiot. She was miscast. Uh, it didn't look right with her against, you know, cast it opposite LL Cool J. And I just thought she was full of shit the whole time. I thought she was just faking it until she made it and shit. But she's been faking it until she made it for many years and shit. I'm not going to talk about her marriage or any of that shit that goes on over there. I'm just going to talk about... I'm going to be shallow and talk about this ensemble. I thought the dress was humorous. I thought on another chick it would be, would be a badass, you know, clout-chasing move and shit. But Gabrielle has no cheeks. She has no ass. Okay, I want to say it. She has no ass. Okay, you have no ass, Gabrielle. Okay, she's long and lean. Okay, nothing wrong with the model figure. That 70s aesthetic and shit. But it looks, her butt looks deflated. Okay, it looks like it's a nice ass, but it's the air has been sucked out of the shit. And I'm like, what the fuck? And it's not because she had a kid or nothing. Because years ago, they had this thing called the fappening and shit, where a bunch of, I, I think that was an inside job. A shitload of, of TV and movie stars and other personalities, nudes were leaked and shit. And it was such a revelation that, like, Kim Kardashian was amongst that, that number, and she had the classiest nudes, you know, candid nudes. You know, I guess she was sitting next to Kanye or something. And then when I saw Gabrielle Union was in there, and I went and looked at that shit, and I was like, oh, man, I'm so disappointed. It's like, man, I expected more, you know? She looked like a boy. I was like, this bitch can play Peter Pan. 
<laughs> she had a haircut like that. She had a haircut like the Peter Pan from the Disney movie in the picture. You know, something. I saw her in some. She had like a fucked up haircut. And she had no clothes on. And she was posing. I guess she was sending this to Dwayne Wade. And it, you know, now that we know a little bit more about their, them, they, they've made their marriage public and shit, their weird marriage. You know, it just makes sense that, you know, D Wade would be into her because she looks like a boy. <laughs> Now, seeing her naked, and she is, I was like, damn, you know, bitch, you don't have to wear no clothes around me. Ain't shit happening. You could be with clothes on or no clothes. I would have no reaction to that shit. I red-blooded American man, you know, even at my most younger, I could be like in my 19-year-old self and shit, see her with no clothes on and have no reaction below the belt. And I'm sorry to make this video and shit. Not really that sorry, not sorry and shit. She just, she has no ass. And if she ha she has no nothing upstairs either, and shit. And I'm not saying anything against women that have a slender build and everything, but she's just out out there with her shit. And I'm like, maybe there's some guys that's into like the pancake booty thing and shit. I'm not saying that she should get a BBL or, or some implants or anything. I'm not saying any of that shit. I'm just saying that like, you know, if she's in her fifties and shit, she's done like one other stunt that I re recall. You know, where she flashed somebody from a hotel. You know, room and shit one time. I guess some other women were in the room when she did it. She thought she was being funny. And uh, I thought it was funny, too, because, like, if she flashed me, like, from another window, and I was in a room and I saw her doing that, or if I was within three feet of her and she flashed me, I have no reaction. Okay, I have no reaction. I hate to shit on the... But she always taking shots. She always act like an asshole. She out there with her lifestyle and everything and her opening up the doors to her family that nobody asked for or wanted to see and shit. And I'm just saying, like, you know, you have no ass. None. Okay? You must have some cheeks. I've seen very thin women with a killer ass body. Okay, I've been with thin ass women that had a bad ass body. And I got wrecked and shit by a thin ass woman. Okay? And I'm, you know, I'm just saying, you know, Tragically unimpressed and shit, okay? I'm gonna like, give her a rating and shit. I haven't done this in a long time. I'm just to be fair, I will give Gabrielle Union and this ensemble uh, two White Castle boxes. <laughs> if they could see me now, a little gang of mine. <laughs> this message has been paid for by the Dusties. Yes, the niggas you love to hate.